Uh, yeah, I'm still with the free assets. Ah, oh, the variable spawn clip of it. Oh, did I forget to assign it? There we go. Didn't clear on play. There we go. That part is working. He's spawning, right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab the animator. You need to shave this thing. Sias93? Well, anyway, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Excuse me. Not sure if the Beastie Boys are going to be enough. Diver, glad you like it. I think the, I think it's too dark, to be honest. You need to shave this thing. Shut up, Diver, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. I gotta slow the spawn down. You need to shave this thing. Frisk me. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. How come they're not being affected by the light probes? I missed you, Visual Studio. <laughs> yeah, so let's, how, this, how does this work? Even though I only wrote it a couple days ago, I already forgot. Yeah, so Diver, keep in mind, right now I'm using only free assets. Uh, later on, I'll be using paid ones just to make it look better. But as far as the functionality of the game goes, you can just do it with free assets. Excuse me. Now, free assets, you generally do have to do a little bit more work with. Because you're not going to be able to find stuff that fits perfectly. So I thought I had this firing off the particle effect. Could have started here. I don't want to though. Okay. So we got a particle effect, we got an area of enemies, we got a spawn delay. The spawn delay probably should be equal to Oh no, spawn delay is after the particles. 
should name this, rename this. This is different. Got so used to refactor. Okay, so what do we want to call it? Right there. Okay, so it worked. It just works differently than what I'm used to. Do I think I'll ever make a card trading game like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Hearthstone? I don't know about actually going that far as to make a complete card game, but as far as just covering the basic mechanics of it, we could probably do something like that later on down the road. It's not hard. It's usually one of the first things you learn in uh, like a computer science class. Is how to make a card game. Making a multiplayer is not much harder. But I want to actually get involved in making a full-blown card game. It's a lot of work for that. Uh, let me see. So spawn particle. At the start, it spawns a particle. Then spawn mob is called from... Let me reorder this. This goes over here. Spawn controller is responsible for calling the spawn mob every X seconds. So spawn mob is called. Um, it starts a coroutine called start particle system, which is down here. So particle system is goes true. Got to understand what the hell I was doing here. So I turn the particle system on, which is going to fire it off. Then I wait for the particle system to end. Then I call stop. And how do I know when it ends? Well, that's not the right way to do it. The right way to do it is to get the duration. This is the backspace key. And this is a game object. You need to shave this thing. Shut up, Grandma! Crusader 68, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Uh, was it called? Spawn particles? And uh, what part what part of it do we need? Duration is right here, so it's under the particle system. There we go. Okay, so now let's start the particle system. Let's 
It's going to wait until the particle system is done. Then it's going to stop the particle system. And then turn it off. So every time you turn it back on, it starts over again. Uh, after it's done that, it goes ahead and goes through all the enemies we have listed. Right now it's just one. And it's going to instantiate one there. Now here's where we stop the particle system. Float time, duration. Okay. So we wait that amount of time and then return. Oops, sorry. Missing, missing chat. You need to shake this thing. Shut up, Grandma. Hello, hello, Pete. Hey, anyway, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Ah, so C sharp's not that bad. It's pretty easy to understand. Uh, I recommend it for a first language for people. It's, it's that simple to understand. Uh, you can easily just go pick a book up at the library, maybe watch a few videos on YouTube. It's pretty easy to get the basics of. Nothing like hacker stuff. <laughs> okay, so... So why am I setting this to true and false? I'm not actually doing anything with this. Oh, sorry, that's turning it on and off. Well, this has to be moved. This is when I want to turn it off. Uh, since we're getting it here and we're waiting this long, what am I using this variable for? Either I'm really tired right now, or I spent too much time last time. Let's see how that works. So we got some typos, oh, or maybe not. Okay, we got to put the delay in so that they don't come running at me right away. I think I made it just a little too dark. I either need to put in more ambient lighting or just lighten it up a bit. I don't like the way that green light spills over. Oh, it's getting all screwed up now. Okay. Try 